bring it back. Hi guys, what's going on? It's Evo Loz, and today we are back with another episode of Total War Arena. This time we are looking at the Slingers. So these are the tier 5 Slingers, it's the lowest tier of Slingers. Before this you only have Archers. Um, I'm not even going to try and say that. Pisoli? Pisoli maybe? Pisoli Slingers? Uh, they're only available to the Greeks, starting at tier 5. And they play a little bit differently to the Archers, where they basically sacrifice damage for range. Now I've only just unlocked these and played a few battles in them, so I'm still going to wait from getting them fully upgraded. Uh, but I've been playing around with a few different consumables and uh, sort of seeing how I get on getting on with them. And largely not very well, is how I'd say. Um, so let's take a quick look at the stats. Their main uh, advantage is their range. The missile weapon range is 130, which is uh, as a base range, which is quite a lot longer than the archers. Um, so they can really hit out quite a long way. So remember that. And then the missile weapon damage is only 154. So if we compare that to the uh, Saladic Archers, which is the equivalent, their base weapon damage, well, is actually not that much lower, but it gets rapidly upgraded when they get the improved bow, um, and it gets upgraded quite a lot more than the Slingers. Although I must admit, I ex would have expected their uh, missile weapon damage to be higher than what it currently is. Uh, so that range gives them a, sort of a lot of options. Um, in terms of their uh, consumables, I've been playing around with a few. There's basically light to heavy bullets. Light bullets give you more range. Medium bullets, minimal change on range, but more damage. And heavy bullets, much reduced range, but quite a bit increased damage. Um, and heating bullets do more damage, but no change range. Um, but the problem is, these are all uh, consumed consumables are used in the battle, so you can or cannot use them. So with light bullets, you get 300 light bullets. But, you know, that's only three or four shots before you've used them all up, and then you're back to the standard ammunition. So I've been trying around with a few, but as a general rule, my favourite is just to use the Archimedes Council, similar as to what you get on the archers, and that gives you increased range and allows your people to quickly turn around and get up to speed a little bit quicker. Uh, a little bit of extra range, always of benefit, and um, being able to accelerate up to speed is never a bad thing. So I'm going to put that back on all the units. There's really no point... Uh, not having it on all of them because otherwise it means one unit's going to be out of range when your other two units are in range and it's just going to kind of mess with your playstyle so you've got to kind of go all for all or nothing on that sort of thing really um, so yes there's two types of slings to choose from you know the standard sling or the refined sling generally I think you're supposed to go for the refined sling because that gives you good range good damage and armor piercing modifier uh, plus 30% which is quite significant compared to the standard sling, which gets a little bit more range, but doesn't get that uh, armor-piercing modifier. Um, the other equipment really does very little. Slight increase in shield armor, slight, slight movement speed, slightly useful for body armor, but when they've got, considering they have no body armor, um, it's a pretty irrelevant feature. The other thing to notice is that they do have shields, that they do, you do get minor missile block chance, uh, missile block chance of 21, compared to... Um, Missile block chance of 1 <laughs> on normal archers. So they do get a little bit of block chance when facing off against other archers. So, without further ado, uh, let's hop into a game. Oh, one other thing to note, I'm playing this with Cyrene, who's an archer commander that isn't uh, currently a specialist slinger commander, and it means that Barrage, which does not work with the sling, it's only available to archer infantry. So as a commander, she's kind of useless to play with slingers. It, it doesn't really matter who you play with, because the only benefit being the rapid advance, the hunt... I don't really like it anyway, uh, but yeah, the lack of barrage kind of really ruins Siren as a commander. So we'll hop into a battle and we'll see how we get on. So we are loading into the Battle of Marathon. We're top tier, um, although everyone else is pretty much uh, tier 5 as well, apart from the odd few tier 4 units. There's quite a few cavalry around, so I'm kind of keen to position myself near some friendly infantry. Uh, I'm inclined to sit at the back here. I might go in with these spears um, and dogs. They've got a unit of cavalry as well, um, and two swordsmen and the javelin going there. Yeah, it's quite a good spot. So hopefully a large number of people will push into this forest here, and I can come in behind and try and use my range perhaps to stay out of range of any of the enemy archers, um, but still get some good firing. The other thing to consider I've found so far about slingers is that they have a really flat uh, trajectory. Unlike archers who can um, sort of aim up at the sky and rain their shots down, the slingers... Um, just sort of fling their shot in a relatively flat arc 
And this can at times be good because it means the shots travel quite quickly and get some pretty reasonable hits, but it also makes it a lot easier to inflict friendly fire. You know, if I was to shoot at an enemy sort of here just in front of these walls, uh, because of the relatively flat trajectory of the shots, the standing people would get hit by the, um, the sling stones relatively early on. So that means you have to sort of consider shooting targets that little bit further ahead um, if you want to try and avoid hitting your own friendlies. So it looks like the enemy have got some uh, Roman Principes pushing down the outside. Nope, don't want to do that. So I'm just going to push up slowly. We've got some dogs here and we've got swordsmen over that side. The enemy hasn't put, the friendly ally hasn't pushed up their two spears yet, um, which is a pain. It would be nice if they pushed up their two um, phalanx. That would be useful in this fight right now. Still pushing forward with the dogs. The dogs aren't really the best unit, but we've got two friendly Roman units here, which could be good. And friendly javelin unit. Okay, currently no sights on the enemy. Enemy cavalry around there, something else to watch out for. Uh, it'd be nice as well if our friendly cavalry did a little bit of a scout. If we can get ahead, these Romans are soon going to be heading dangerously close into range for me. So we'll start to fling off some shots against them. Though they are armoured units, so our damage is going to be pretty minimal. Oh, we'll get some shots against this cavalry. Oh, watch out for the dogs. So we won't do that, actually. Okay. We've, for some reason, we've just... Uh, the cavalry, our friendly cavalry have just charged headlong into that that unit there. We're getting some good damage in these Romans as they retreat. The stones don't do very much against armour, which is their big problem. But now we're shooting them in the back and they haven't got their shields to protect them. We're doing a reasonable amount of damage. Um, and our long range is starting to come into being being a bit favourable there. Um, yeah, slowly racking up a reason why that. Almost 5,000 damage already. And we're completely safe at the moment. Seems to be no enemy cavalry around. It's just free damage. And the enemy units just seem to be standing there. You see uh, now they've turned around and they're actually facing us. The amount of damage we're inflicting is pretty much minimal. Like we're doing two per hit. Basically nothing. So now we're starting to hit friendly, so we've got to be careful. I'm going to get a quick shot in, hopefully, before our cavalry arrives. Yep, and we're going to pull back. We'll get one more shot in. And then we'll stop shooting because I don't want to hit any friendlies. So I'm going to pull back a little bit. See maybe if we can push up a bit and get some shots into the sides over here. Because at the moment there's nothing I can really hit uh, friendly. Get some shots on these Principes out here. Ah, oh, some Slingers, some Roar Eye. Um, they have shields, so it's offering them some protection. But we're also getting plenty of slingshots. We're doing a reasonable amount of damage, 2,000 damage already. So we'll keep up that base of fire. Overall, we're starting to tip against us the battle, which is not so good. Um, but this is the advantage of the slingers, is the range. I want to be out of enemy missile range, is what I want to be. Um, our phalanx is doing a good job there of fighting those principes. You can see, actually, while we're doing this, the really flat trajectory of these slings. Um, you know, they're just flying really low and shallow rather than going up and over like every other, like most of the weapons. Uh, the Roman infantry are actually kind of shielding, I don't know, intentionally, their javelin unit. Um, since we're losing them in the forest a little bit, I'm going to pull back. Since I don't want to be the unit on the front line when the uh, Roman principes turn up. So I'm going to pull back a little bit. Hopefully they'll get spotted again shortly by the dogs. Looks like this battle's starting to turn against us a little bit in terms of numbers. Let's get some shots off against these javelins. They're not doing a tremendous amount of damage. Um, we're largely hitting the Roman infantry, I think. So we're just getting sort of twos and stuff. But we'll keep up the fire. Um, I think we'll pull back because we're getting javelined by the enemy at the moment. And that's never a good thing. I've um, got to be careful about getting too exposed to enemy uh, cavalry though. We've got some friendlies quite close, so we've got to be careful about where we're shooting as well. Because we're in some hits too. Yeah, like that. Just clip the front of our Roman friendlies there. So, since that's turned into an engagement, we'll pull back round this way. I've done a reasonable amount of damage so far. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, but I'm still slightly worried about one enemy cavalry because there's still quite a lot in play and um, the fact that we're losing a lot of units oh and now we're being race capped as well better get back over in that direction hopefully those Romans will wrap shortly and just be crushed with the dogs and the weight of 
friendly infantry. Let's see if we can get up and get some sights on our base capture. We need to get moving. Wow, we really need to get moving. This could be a problem. I don't think we're going to get back in time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get visual on our base from the edge of this forest. That's more going to be the problem. I'm the only unit heading back as well. So I think we're probably going to lose this one. Unless I get visual on the enemy very soon. That's the other problem. I don't know where they are. Unless they're in this opening little bit. I'm not going to be able to see them. Come on. Get some shots on him. Why aren't you shooting? Shoot him. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. So we've got a little bit of damage in there. Come on. We need people to get back. I'm not really doing anything damage to them. We're just trying to prevent them from... Okay. There we go. We've got a bit of a hit there. So they're entering Testudo now. Okay, let's target these cavalry most definitely. Pull back a little bit. Where's our dogs? Come on, shoot the cavalry. Okay, there we go. Enemy cavalry down. That's good. Okay, enemy mounted warband. Okay, and to fast mode, try and quickly get out of the way of their charge and make back to some semblance of friendly lines. Uh, I want to keep away from the Roman infantry. I think our dogs perhaps stand a chance of dealing with their cavalry, but not, not their infantry as well. So once some of their cavalry are routing, so let's try and get some slingshots on them as they flee. Oh, that was a good hit, good damage there. Come enemy uh, cavalry charging in again. Get another shot off after them. Okay, we eliminated that one group of cavalry, but we're now being pressed pretty hard. I'm going to try and break off slightly from this engagement. Try and get some shots on them as they go down the side. Ah, oh, they've seen us again. Some of our troops are routing. I think this is the end for us. We'll try and use um, target to throw to get some slingshots off. A thousand damage, a little bit of damage there, uh, but I don't think our barbarians are able to beat the mounted warband, and the enemy walls are just starting to arrive. We could try and make a dash for these friendly principes. See if that will give us any luck. But there, for some reason, they seem pretty determined not to help us, but to actually flee the fight. They could turn around and deal with these cavalry now. What are they doing? <laughs> God's sake. Sometimes you just hate your own team. They could they could like literally deal with these cavalry right here and right now, but they're just so obsessed with trying to get what a that's uh, certainly one of the worst plays I think we've seen in this game for a while. Yes, yeah, so if that principal unit turned around and actually just dealt with the sort of weakened units of enemy cavalry, not only would we have survived, but they'd have got rid of one of the main threats. The enemy sort of very slow Roman infantry who were trying to avoid a fight um, could have just been left alone for a moment, but alas, it is not to be. Um, so it looks like this fight's really gone against us now, the entire enemy team has turned up at our base and we only have a few units left um, and they're pretty much all here uh, and the few little spearmen <laughs> caught and surrounded. Um, so I hope they gave a bit of a demonstration of what the slingers can do. Uh, we've got quite a lot of points, <laughs> particularly from the base defence uh, and support there, uh, 8,000 points. but. Uh, that, that's the benefit of the slingers is the range and while I was in the forest I was trying to work the, the cover of the trees while targeting, trying to target units at the maximum range of the slingers. I think it's still worth, well worth using the Archimedes Council consumable. You'll see in a minute when this battle is over. Hopefully we should, even with a defeat um, and losing all your units, we should still make a good profit. Um, even though it costs a thousand for consumable, we should make in excess of that in silver. So let's have a look at the battle report once this thing's over. see what we can see. Okay, so we've got a reasonable amount of free experience, command experience, and units experience per unit. Um, and we made 13,000, you know, consumables only cost 2,700. That extra 11 range and a little bit of 
um, acceleration you get is, is well worth that cost so I'd highly recommend that you do that you didn't get too much friendly fire only 68 friendly fire so that's not too bad so I hope that gives you a bit of an idea how slingers play um, compared to archers in my other videos I'll also be having a look at the tier 5 archers shortly as well so we can compare them and see how they do so yeah all in all slingers are produced damage but increased range and that's basically how they work so I hope you found this video useful if you liked it give it a like Comment below, let me know what you think, and subscribe to the channel for more Total War content. Thanks guys, shall see you on the next one.